Hello guys and welcome to episode 42 of my Rome 2 Total War campaign, playing as Assassinids on very hard difficulty. Today I am defending against the Nahan Navali after they've ambushed us in Force March Stance and uh, previously we took Winter Attrition so our forces are quite depleted. They outnumber us 2 to 1, it's not looking good. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we lost it. Let's fight this on the battle map. We'll see how well we can do. Um, I think it mainly sort of relies on their army composition and the terrain. So we'll have to wait and see. Well, it's not looking good. Our army looks good though. Look at that. Cataphracts and elephants in the snow. Just like Hannibal. Well, I don't think Hannibal had cataphracts, but still. Um, we're now being hit by mercenary Germanic hunters there. I feel like all of this just needs to come back. And we need to create like an infantry wall as soon as possible. Uh, maybe facing the archers a little bit as well. Um, let's have these two like that side to face off against the Germanic band. And then we'll have the rest of the forces look to the right like so and we need to get our Kurdish archers up as soon as possible the rest of these cav can come really far back and hopefully we can get an engagement back there we have discovered the enemy's hidden units turn around men run away hopefully my general gets out of there I might have to have this line come forwards a bit actually to intercept oh that's not good I guess if they charge into these immortal spears, that's not so bad. Uh, but hopefully my calf's going to get out of there. It's going to suck. Oh god. Let's just have him charge towards these mounted Germanic warband. And then we can just have him run through the formation and get out of there. Because he is taking a lot of fire. Wow. Okay. So my cavalry's out anyway. Let's uh, now let, get them to sweep around. We'll have them come up the hill. The elites of Aaron all oh, can deal with these mounted Germanic wall band. That's good. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll have the Dalamites come up here. We've got the Persian horse archers as well. But I just want to try and get my general alive. He's in a really shit position. Holy crap. Um, let's just get out of there, dude. Oh no, have they gone berserk? Nope. Elephants at the ready. God damn. Get out. Which one's the general on? I don't think the general's the general's on this one, okay, that's fine. Elephants. At least the Pushtig banner out. And we seem to be holding well. We've set up a quite nice line here. Um, time to charge down these hunters, that's for sure. Come around the back with those dudes. We'll get the Savaran up here because I think we just demolished their cab. Or oh, it's nearly dead anyway. Um, the Kurdish archers here, they all need to line up. These ones can start firing at enemy hunters. Okay, good. Heavy cavalry! Oh. Armored elephants! I just need that general to like stop. Just just stop. Okay, time to charge into their hunters. Let's go. Oh, somehow we managed to do that. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that was insane. Um let's get these guys up here. It's not over yet, and I'm pretty sure they have reinforcements. So we could be in a pretty bad spot right now. We await your orders. Elite archers! An entire unit has our general has oh, fallen. Damn it. That's not good. It's not good, guys. The general is dead. <laughs> And he's not wounded either, he's, he's, he's dead dead. Like, proper dead. 
Uh, let's have these Dalamites run down these other two Germanic hunters. We need to get those cab out of there. Uh, we've got a couple of our immortal infantry kind of suffering a bit. Let's have these Savarans come around and help them. I might just have these guys go straight down into the mercenary armored Germanic swordsmen in the uh, uh, rear there. Ah, oh, some of my immortal infantry have already ran. It's not good. Right, we're killing off their archers anyway, that's good. Actually, I might have to have these Savaran go into the uh, mounted uh, warband there. Okay. I'm losing my general really sucks, but otherwise, we're not doing too bad. This is one bad thing about having a general on elephants is that if they get caught out in an ambush, they die. Because the elephants are actually pretty easy to kill. So what I'm going to do, we're going to get my Persian horse archers to run down these guys and we'll have the pushtig band then come back and charge into these lines. I think that's probably a better choice. Those two can continue. I don't mind about that. Okay, where's the rest of their forces anyway? I have no idea where they are. Our men flee the field of battle. Oh, another unit of immortal infantry gone. Because our general's not around. They are fleeing quite easily. That sucks. Let's get these immortal spears into the engagement with the Germanic nobles. Um, those charges should have done quite a lot of damage. Oh, we're losing more men. The Germanic band are broken though, that's something. Stop these guys firing, because I feel like they're friendly firing more than they're helping. Right, let's get this infant or cavalry back. We need to crush these Germanic swordsmen sooner than later. Alright, and then we need to charge into these guys. Downhill charge into the back. Our men flee the field of battle. Should be decent. And taking a lot of damage. Hopefully, with my immortal spears still pushing on them, we can make them break. The general goes. I'm pretty sure the other ones will as well. We could maybe break off with the. Have? Never mind. Okay, they're broken. I was going to say we could maybe use our archers to finish them off, but it seems okay. Good. Alright. Killed them off. Now we've got to find their other units. The only place that I can't see is like the other side of this hill, so we will check out that way. Jemites in one over here as well. Just to have a quick look. Because I don't know where the reinforcements came in from. Completely blind. In the meantime, though, we'll just go up on top of this hill. One of our units the highest point in the area, so we can mount the best defense there. Right, as for my cav, well, we lost one unit of Pushtig Ban. We've lost our immortal infantry and spears. We lost our general. Not looking good, but at least we might win. We have discovered the depending on how many units. units they have left. Oh shit! Hello, Germanic hunters. I'm just gonna have to go straight into those so we don't die, and uh, we're gonna have to get these horse archers to go for the Germanic hunters there as well. Oh, that volley! Oh, it's disgusting. Let's have the Dalamites run down those Germanic hunters and we'll have the Persian 
horse archers clean up the others. So there's two more units here that we need to take care of. Uh, we might just be able to shoot them to death with archers. Oh, we need to be careful. Oh dear. We don't want to take like a bunch of shots from these mercenary armored Germanic swordsmen like that. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. Okay. But they're actually breaking already. Maybe we just get pushtig bands to like charge into them. And then that might do the job. Trouble is my pushtig band's quite far away. Uh, not the cleanest battle. But I couldn't stop my general from going berserk. Just gonna speed it up. Maybe my archers can make them run away. Go on, Kurdish archers. The enemy general yes. is dead. Wow, the first volley killed the general. Okay. Good. I will just hit the uh, other unit then with a pushtig band charge. Here we go. Will they see it coming? That's the question. No. And they are shattered. We will continue. And we will run them down. So Pishtig Band can charge down one. We've got the Persian horse archers on the other. And we've done it. We've succeeded. But at what cost? It all really comes down to just a tactical mistake on the campaign map. Like moving them through the winter attrition like that in Force March Dance was just like the worst idea ever. But at least we managed to sort of recover this battle, even if we did lose the general. We nearly got him out of there. We had like a really cool like semicircle line going on. We also lost yeah, the other pushtig band, that sucks. They're hard to replace. A noble death. We killed off one of their armies though. Okay. Let's um, enslave the captives. And I'm just thinking, do we have enough to attack them next turn? I'm not sure. But Xerxes is dead. Aquitania. Missing supplies and uh, research complete. Vigorous administration. Now we're working towards trusted councillors, which will give us extra loyalty for all political parties. Greater, greater et Noricum is missing taxes, and so is Palmyra, and unrest in Minia Magna. That banditry is just annoying. Alright, let's just get uh, another guy for the House of Sassan then. He can take over the army. We'll give him the guy in Avspa. He's already got unit rank 1 on those. Council on Magnificence. Your Magnificence gives me plus 12 loyalty for all political parties and plus 10 to diplomacy. Okay, so relatively good start to the episode. An epic battle, for sure. Can we, however, destroy them now? I don't believe we're in range. No, we're not. We fight for you, That's Lord. awkward. Hmm. We can hire some mercenaries just to take the threat away a little bit. 
for battle. But I feel like we're going to have to back off because they're going to re-recruit, right? And I'm not going to be able to. So maybe we just march away from them. Oh, never mind. We got hit by the shield maiden, so we can't even march. Let's just try and make some ground away with our immortal infantry towards the uh, warriors of the fire of fires. Media will have to save us. Maybe destroy the Nahan Navali for me. I will send that to the pool. That's fine. Let's now have a look at what else we have to do in this turn. Aidanis is sitting on Sicily. What's this army doing? The Watch. Are they going to attack Syracuse? Because I don't really want them to. The Fury of El Ragnar is not in range to do so himself, which kind of sucks. I really don't want this army to start the siege and then not be able to take over Syracuse. I'm really tempted just to do military sabotage on Armenia. 93% chance of success, so hopefully that will prevent them from moving. And then we can take Syracuse for ourselves. Bit of an odd move, sabotaging your allies, but <laughs> when you want the land, you want the land. Let's uh, move Parmis up, try and take out the Shield Maiden. We'll go for a Concealed Blade, maybe we'll find the uh, kill. That would be nice. Stops them from subverting the Watchmen. Assassination failed. Really. That was like a 70% chance. Oh, may I serve you? Uh, we've got two armies here actually that are pretty much fully replenished. Well, look at that. Bergium was taken back by Gallic Rome. Move that way. Stay in friendly territory for the end turn. Hopefully, I still get replenishment. I will. And. I'm also tempted to move the Heroes Among Men that way, but I think what I'm going to do is move them up to the border with the Semnones. That's actually going to reveal their armies as well. Wow, they have two full armies there. Let's maybe start doing military sabotage on those. And then it will get to the point where the Heroes Among Men can attack Kalan Koran and just wipe out the Semnones in one turn. Yeah, that's good. That's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, Datis, um, he can assassinate this chap. Let's go for poison. Decimus Statius Papus. Let me wounded. Good job, Datis. As for Katia, he is busy converting the coach here from Latin to Eastern. He's actually doing pretty damn well with that. Arsamiz has already taken this down to 72% Latin. Wow. You certainly convert culture very quickly, don't they? What about Kairos up here? I could potentially have him try to, like, assassinate dudes. Maybe we hire assassins. Maybe that'll work. To get rid of the Burgundii agents. Nah, I think I'm just going to leave him there for now. Um, the Will of Dagon. Right, what are we going to do with the Will of Dagon? They are actually heading round to Seatis, aren't they? So let's uh, continue with that movement. Put him into normal stance and just head that way. Hopefully we can hit him in the next turn. We can. Okay, now for the Forgotten Warriors. Forgotten Warriors can take to let him. Looks like Baetica is mostly owned by Lusitania. But we can still take the settlement for ourselves. Go for an aggressive stance. Take that over. Ormids is a very far is very far from home, tell you that much. I will raise the letter and uh, I'll rebuild the buildings there. Get the shrine and the nomad camps. One thing I should do is make sure I remember to rebuild buildings here. So let's do that. We'll do shrine and nomad camps and then we'll get training post and 
Maybe pit mine there. Because that's where I looted the settlements instead of raising them. So I've left myself with three slots. At Latium, it's time to build up some forces as well. Like I remember these being raised. So, well not raised, looted. And I needed to get rid of some of the buildings. So at Rome, we're missing the outskirts there. At Asculum, we'll get the nomad camps. And maybe another trading post. Or we could just get a pit mine there for now. Then what I'm going to do is we'll get the trader at Aretium. At Cisalpina, we'll get the spice market. This is going to just improve my income across the board. We can do it at Reita. Reita at Noricum as well. We can go for the spice market and the trader. Just easy ways to make money. Just upgrading them to like level 2. Like the trading post goes from 50 to 200. Like that's just really, really big increase. Anywhere else I can do it. We're just worth uh, checking all of the recently conquered. So yeah, Liminum, we can upgrade to a trader. Uh, what about at Narbonensis? Yeah, we can do that to a spice market. All right, let's carry on with uh, Schmini's commandos. We will take out Nova Carthage. So that's the. I was going to say that was the next capital of Hispania Citeria, but apparently not. Just go for the siege there. Oh, do they have an army that I can't see? Let me just go back into continue siege. Oh, they have the first legion on the water here. Okay. Hmm. I guess we could still win this battle. We definitely have way more cavalry than they do. So we could definitely run them down quite nicely. Also, they're on the water there, so they're not e even going to be able to like run rounds and attack me easily, I don't think. So I think we'll continue the siege. We'll get a tortoise, and we'll get a couple of light siege towers. And we'll just continue the siege. If they attack me, great. We can fight them on the battle map, like in an open field. If not, then that's fine as well. We'll just siege them and then attack them. Okay, Heroes Among Men will go into Fortification Stance. I'm not going to upgrade these guys until I've finished the upgrade at Arsakia. Which is going to take three turns. But Xerxes has leveled up. So let's level up his Militancy. Gives us extra unit experience gained per turn, which is nice. Children of Pani. These guys are actually in range of Leptis Magna. So let's go and attack that. Nice. Another settlement under our command. Easy done. Guess we'll just raise it. And we need to fix these up. And we need to build something here. I don't have enough cash. Maybe we stop one of the upgrades. We'll stop the one at Liminum. Then I can go back here. And I can build a trading post. Good. Alright, as for Arsimis, he's he's fine. There is an army at Cyrene. Gotta be a little bit careful. If we use the Will of Dagon to take Sirtes. They could come down from Cyrene with that army and attack it. I guess it's better than them attacking my homelands though. Like, if they attacked Aelia Capitolina or Petra, that would just be really frustrating. But hopefully they don't. Hopefully there's not too many armies down here. I don't remember there being any. We're very close to like recruiting new armies, so we'll be able to soon. And uh, once we can then I'm pretty sure we will deal with Hispania Citeria quite easily. In the meantime, that is everything done, I believe. So let's end the turn. Let's 
surprised we didn't see any movements from Gallic Rome. Armenia, of course, going to have to move their armies. All of my satrapies, as usual. Good to see them get involved, but uh, it's annoying that they were trying to attack Syracuse. That was for sure. Hopefully they haven't started the siege on that. But here we have the battle against Hispania Cytaria. Now this is going to be a pretty epic one. So what I'm actually going to do is stop the episode here and we'll fight it in the next episode because otherwise I'm not going to have enough time. So sorry about that guys, but it definitely leaves you with something to look forward to. And hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. We managed to get out of a very precarious ambush position. Did lose our general and some elite units, which sucked, but did our best. In the meantime, though, that's all. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.